Up next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple single leg balance exercises. So the first one I like to do is just a basic hip swing. All we're going to do there is you're going to stand on one foot and you're going to swing the other leg. Just like when you're walking, you take a step, swing your leg. Same sort of thing, right? Take a step, swing that leg. So it's going to start off on the right leg. Again, we got our bands on our legs. Starting off on that right leg, I'm going to mash my big toe into the ground. Grab that floor with my foot, slight bend in my knee, try to keep my ankle, my knee, and my hip all happily lined up. Keep my abs nice and tight, not too tight. Relax a little bit. And all I want to do is just swing my left leg. So I'm balancing on my right leg while I'm swinging my left. Notice how my arms are already starting to kind of sway with the breeze. They're counterbalancing my body. So as I kick my left leg back, my left arm goes the opposite direction back and forth. Now, as you feel comfortable, you can bend that right knee a little bit more, bend it on the way back, bend it sweeping forward. Nice and smooth. So this is more of a balance exercise. Even though you're sweeping your left leg, this is more an exercise for your right leg calf. As you grip that floor with your foot, when you sweep through, you'll feel that in that right leg. So I'm gonna aim for about 15, 20 leg sweeps on each side, nice and smooth. And you can throw your arms in there. That's just gonna add to the exercise. You can go a little bit deeper if you want, but I like to go right about waist deep, sweeping through. Now I'm using my arms, getting my back and my abs engaged. Okay, so that was about 15, so now we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go to the left leg. So same thing, grab the floor with your foot, your left, left foot, left toes down, slight bend in that knee, take that right leg, swing it back, sweep forward, ah, you know, bounce, back, forward, hip swings, simple, right, swing in your hip, single leg bounce, this is a balance, this is a range of motion, this is a strength, coordination, there we go, once you kind of get into the groove, then it gets easier, now you can hang on to a noodle if you want, you can hang on to the side of the wall, whatever you need to do to slowly get that balance. See, I'm already kind of struggling on my left compared to my right. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna grab a noodle. Get this noodle, give me a little bit of balance. If I need two noodles, I get two noodles. If I need a pole, good old PVC pole, right? Hold that noodle. Now, my balance is a little bit better. If I need to go in front, that's fine, almost like a bar. And as I start to get more comfortable on my left foot, I'm gonna slowly turn loose my noodle. Okay, so back and forth. You really wanna swing from the hip too. Remember, don't tilt your torso too much. It's all just at the hip. So you're really stretching your quad, your hip flexor, your rectus femoris on the front. And then as you come forward, you're stretching your glutes, your low back muscles, your hamstrings, calves, all that on that posterior chain. Swing. Okay, good. Hip swing. It's good timing. We got an airplane in the background here. We live under a flight plat, sli flight path, flight pan. There's Southwest. Looks like they're still running. All right. So that was hip swing. Up next, we're going for is a three-way hip primer. Okay, so this one's kind of tricky. Stand on your right leg. You're gonna tap in front, tap to the side, tap behind, switch. Plant your toes, grab your floor with your foot, tap in front, tap to the side, tap behind. Notice that as you alternate, it gets a little easier, but your knee is going, most likely want to cave towards the middle. Ah, see, there's that balance again, right? So this is a balance exercise. And you're only bending your knee at like 30 degrees, not a whole lot at all. Just enough to tap, tap, tap. So again, you want to avoid that knee going in. Don't do that. That's called a valgus angle on your knee. Strain your MCL. Don't do that. Keep everything stacked up, lined up. Okay. So tap, tap, tap. And again, try to keep your pelvis level. Oop. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. And you can slide your foot along the floor. Ideally, you kind of want to keep your heel flat because then you get that stretch on that soleus, that deep, flat calf muscle for posture. If you want to come up on your toe, that's fine. Side, side, back, up. Okay, 
single leg leg sweeps. Stay on that right leg, take your left foot out front, sweep back and forth, and back and forth. So these are C. You can straight leg it, start with small motion first, and as you get a little bit more balance, don't be afraid. Ah! See, this is hard. This is tricky. And with the Katsu bands on, it's a lot harder than it looks. You're getting a really awesome workout and you're really working your nerves. So sweeping out, sweeping back, sweeping back. Okay, switching legs. That was about five or six on that side. Let's go to the left leg down, grab the floor with my foot, pinch my toes down, sweep my leg back and forth. Ah, balance, see? It's a little tricky, right? So if I want to, go a deep end. See my floor, my pool is slanted down here, so then it puts an extra stre stretch on my calf, so I can change that by turning around and doing that and going a little bit more of a uh, relaxed Achilles. But I kind of need that calf stretch. My Achilles is tight. Like most of us, we have tight calves. So sweep forward, sweep back. Okay, and we come back to waist level. Sweep, 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 sweep. Okay, good. Those are half C, half circles, single leg balance. Another one that we can do are hip swings to the side. Sweeping across, sweeping out. Noodle's good for balance, or you can do this on the pool wall is always a good one. Trying to really keep your foot straight. Your toes are gonna wanna turn open like that. But you really wanna keep the inside of your foot down like that. Don't let your toes sweep out, sweep. Sweep, 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 good. Switch some legs. Sweep, 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 sweep. Good, again, we're using our stance leg to balance while that leg's kicking out wide. Yeah, we're stretching the inside of this right thigh, but we're also really working that left side really hard, working that core, working all those coordinator muscles, so. You get all the stuff working at once. It's a full body workout. See. Okay, where are we at? Good old walking lunges. Everyone likes to walk and lunge, right? So, great with katsu. I like to go down, plant your foot again, come up high, knees up, toes up, okay? So as you're walking, again, you can just go forward, forward, you can do a simple way like that, that's fine. You can even stand in place and just squat down. Just kind of lunge down in that position like that. It's fine. You can do all kinds of things in a lunge position. Lunge, lunge position. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a walking lunge. So I'm gonna go, or walking high knee lunge. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper here. Go right about, I don't know, like mid stomach level. So a big old step with my right foot sink down. Now as I come forward, I'm going to pull my hips forward, try to lock out my stance leg, toes in the floor. Again, grabbing those, uh, grabbing the floor with your big toe, very important. Knee up, toe up, really try to pull up high. Big step forward, sink down, come up high. Okay, again, going back the other way. So left foot forward, sink down, come up high. Sink down, come up high, okay? simple. You can walk around your pool. So if you don't really want to walk in the same place, that's fine. You can go out wide. But the main thing is, is when you come up tall, really try to pull your hips forward. Try to bring your knees up, toes up in front. Come down. As you get a little more comfortable, you can add a little jump to it. Okay, I'm about to lose my microphone here. Alright, so I like that. So 